Welcome back everybody. Today's video is going to be a little bit shorter than normal, which I'm sure by this point uh, you guys are probably all happy about. Uh, today we're just going to go over assembling the forward planetary section. So this is your 1-2 planetary gear setup. There's also third gear because third gear is direct. Uh, so the main shaft is basically third gear. So really simple. We'll start off again by making sure that everything is good and clean. And then, as always, we're going to check our planetary gears, we're going to check the rollers, make sure everything's rolling freely, make sure that none of these have like an excessive amount of slop, and same for the front planetary gear here. Make sure that uh, we don't see anything jumping out at us like a broken tooth or anything like that. And then once you've confirmed that these are all good to go, now we can start assembling. Before we start assembling, you're going to need to go to your thrust washer kit and get your thrust washers. Uh, on a 48, they're a little easier because three of the washers are the same. And then you have the sun shell washer. On a 47, you have a couple different washers. But if you just pay attention to how it came apart, like we talked about in the disassembly video, then uh, you'll have no problem putting it back together. You're going to take your low planetary gear set and flip it upside down and this is where you're going to put a thrust washer. Thrust washer has holes that it's going to go into like that so really straightforward but I like to dip these in transmission fluid before I install them just so that way they're nice and lubed up when you put them together. So now that I've got the thrust washer on here, I'm going to take the low analis ring gear and I'm going to slide it on there like that. So now these two pieces are together and the washer is nice and lubed up. And then I'll take this assembly and I will assemble it onto the intermediate shaft like so. And then it just goes in all the way like that. And then the next step is to take a, another one of those same thrust washers and put it in the top here. There's a couple extra holes, but you'll see that it only splines up on one of them, like so. And then I will dip this thrust washer in fluid as well. So that'll end up looking like that. And then I will take my sun shell, which we've talked about in the disassembly video, checking to make sure that it doesn't have too much play there. And just run around the lugs, make sure that you don't see anything scary with the lugs. Pretty much anything bad with these is going to jump out at you uh, when you did the disassembly. But just do it once over, make sure it's good. And then you're going to line this up with the gear set. And then now this thing should turn nice and freely, just like that. So now I will set that assembly off to the side for a moment. And then we'll take our front analyst ring gear in our front planetary and these are clean check ready to go i will flip that upside down like that once again take another thrust washer line it up make sure that it fits okay we're good to go there take it dip it in the fluid and then this is almost ready for installation now so now the thing that you need to make sure we don't forget is this plastic ring that came out of it originally needs to go back in it like so. This keeps this gear set centered in the analyst ring gear here, which is important. So then we'll take the ring gear and we will line it up like that. And so now this is ready to assemble into the sun shell. So now we'll take our sun shell. We will take this bronze looking thrust washer and we'll set it in there like that. Once again, we will lube this up. Now that that is nice and lubed up, we're ready to put our front planetary, spline it up on the intermediate shaft here and just kind of rock it back and forth and slowly bring it down until it seats all the way down. You'll know it's all the way down when you can get this snap ring in here. Now technically, these are a selective snap ring. If you ask Chrysler, they'll tell you they're not, uh, but they definitely make three different selective sizes of this to get your gear train in play correct. 
Uh, I've almost never come across a time where a good gear set needed a different snap ring than what was in it, but it is something to be aware of. So now we're going to take our snap ring pliers and we're going to swap these around because we need to, oh, or no, actually we won't. These are already ready to spread. So you're going to be spreading this snap ring with your snap ring pliers. Just spread it out. Put it down in the snap ring groove. Make sure it clicks in. Boom. Okay, so now to check this for proper in play or gear train clearance, whatever you want to call it, the, you need to stick a feeler gauge right between the low ring gear and the intermediate shaft here. So let me grab a feeler gauge and let's see what this measures out to be. So the measurement that we're looking for here is between eight and 40 thousandths. So I've just grabbed a 20 thousandths feeler gauge just to see if it needs to be bigger or smaller. And it definitely needs to be smaller. So now I'll go and just grab a 10 thousandths. So the 10 thousandths goes in. And you know, this is back to where why I don't really like feeler gauges because you know, they're so subjective. To me, that feels like a perfect 10 thousandths. Uh, but somebody might think that that's a little bit too tight. Somebody might think it's a little loose, but I'm going to call that a perfect 10 thousandths. And then I'll just run around and basically check the whole perimeter of that. And so this is 10 thousandths. We're perfectly good because between 8 and 40 thousandths is our clearance. So just like that, our entire planetary section is completely ready to go. So we can set this off to the side. So at this point, we have completed the assembly of all of our internal components. And the only thing that is left now is to put all of these components into the case. So in the next video, we're going to be installing everything that we've just built in these last few videos into the case. And then after that, we'll get into the valve body and the final touches. And so we're almost done with the video series.